Yeah, some big waves. I'm definitely noticing these waves today. Um, now, in addition to, what is this thing floating here? What is this here? Is that one of my markers? What is that? Hey guys, welcome back to Sim UK and obviously fishing Baron Sea. Uh, we are at port. We've just uh, sold all of our fish from our first ever catch, and uh, we did pretty well, I think. Sixty-eight thousand kroner, I think, in total, and we got fifty-four thousand left in the bank. So what we need to do now is go to the dock and have a little look and see what we can do. Ideally, buying fuel. But we've got over half a tank left, so I know I can do quite a bit of distance on half a tank because we've already done it. So I'm thinking I'm just going to save my cash this time round because this time round we're going to fish much closer to the, uh, to the port. Um, incidentally, on ports, I keep seeing little indications that unlocking new ports and building up your, um, uh, your reputation there has fringe benefits. But I'm not entirely sure what those fringe benefits are. So this, I'm saying this in the video now as a reminder to myself to go and ask the devs what that means exactly. Maybe get a bit more clarity on it. I might forget, but this is, that's what this is intended for as, as a reminder for me. The uh, damage to the hull, that 1%, I am wondering whether it's when the boat gets pulled into the port and it kind of bounces off the edge. I'm wondering if that's where that damage has come from. I'm not entirely sure. Because I don't recall hitting anything, so maybe it just gets damaged over the time. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, um, I'm more interested in upgrades at the moment. Now, wow! I was going to say upgrade to uh, two tons worth of storage, but that's going to set us back 42,000 kroner. It's only going to leave us with 14,000, and I was hoping to do an engine upgrade. Oh, we could. We, we would have enough. So that will give us an additional five horsepower. Now that's interesting. Okay, let's start by doing the important thing. Let's start with uh, getting some getting some fish hooks baited. So we've got two two fifties, and um, we're still after. What are we in? Seventeenth of August, so nothing has changed. We're still after. Um, uh, haddock, even though we're not doing very well catching haddock. So I'm going to bait that with uh, one type, and then I'm going to bait this. Which one is haddock? It's like the yellowy colour, isn't it? Or is it the greeny colour? It's the greeny coloured one, isn't it? So that's why we were going haddock. Okay, I think I think we're going to do uh, one. One with the uh, sardines or whatever the hell they are, and another one with crab. Uh, and this one will stick to mackerel. Mackerel, that's what it was. Okay, because technically that's the correct one. Okay, good. So we've got all three lines baited. Um, now the plan is I'm going to go out there, I'm going to lay two lines, and then we're going to come back to port and have a sleep. Then I'm going to go out there, I'm going to bait the third line, Collect the other two lines and bring those back to sell at shore. Have a rest, go out, get the, uh, set the two, two 250s, bring in the 500. So we get this kind of routine going. I don't think it's going to take too long, 68,000 each time. I don't think it's going to take too long to uh, uh, have enough money to upgrade to the next boat. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So the lines are baited. We could do an extra 500 line, couldn't we? But I don't think we've got enough storage to cope with that. So I think what I'll do is uh, leave that for now and let's get some upgrades. Upgrades. How much is the next boat to start of interest? 450,000 kroner. Okay, so that might take a little while. 
First things first. Upgrade our storage. It's 42,000. Oh, it's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. I think also when you're buying something, that it ought to be a two-click process because it's all too easy to accidentally click on something and then there's no going back. So I think that ought to be a two-click process. I'm going to pass that on to the devs as well. Right, have I got enough here? Just enough. Just enough. Okay, so we've upgraded the engine a smidgen. It's now, uh, it's got an extra 5 HP. And we've doubled uh, our storage to 2,000 kilograms. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Right. Not much else to do. Let's uh, go to the map. Let's clear all waypoints. Let's look for Haddock, because that's what we're after. So we've got two main spots. Um, let, is it just my imagination, or has that reduced? I think that has reduced, doesn't it? If you overfish an area, they'll no longer be uh, prominent there, and you'll need to... Um, go further afield to find the same amount of fish. In fact, I can see already that this is like a yellow spot, which is like a hot spot. And here it's just a very faint green. So already we're causing ourselves problems. But for this run, we need to stay close. So this is where we're going to fish. We're all in this area. And then next time round, maybe we'll move over here and we'll see if some other hot spots pop up, etc, etc, etc. Okay, so... Let's place some waypoints over here. Smack dab bang in the middle, something like that. Cushty. I'm tempted to go to one of the other ports as well. Just, just to say that I have more than anything else. But, uh, oh. See, you saw me bash against the sides of the port there. I don't know if that did any damage. The first time I did it, and there was definitely damage, a little number, sort of a little minus one popped up. Um, but that was in a previous game, so that's not where the 1% damage had come from. And uh, let's get first person here. I'm going to flat out, going straight at our point here. So, um, I'll drive out there, guys, and then we'll set up the hooks and we'll come back in. And uh, I'll see you in a minute. So, um... Seeing some uh, slightly bigger waves today, which is nice. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a bit more um, involved here. See the boat, not every wave is big. See when you hit quite a big one, definitely a bit of rocking and motion in there. That's lovely to see, that's really awesome. And uh, also, in addition to that, uh, it makes the horizon bob up and down. I, I love the, the, the sort of buoyancy and momentum or movement that they've introduced here. I think they've really nailed that. It feels really authentic to me. Um, so yeah, very impressed with that. Also, oh, there's our marker just there. Look, just to the right, just spotted that out. Also, we're chugging along at 12 knots, so we've gained three knots of speed, uh, which is very good. Look at that, wow, yeah. Now, like I say, I don't know if you can sink a boat, but uh, it's, it's pretty, uh, it's not rough. I mean, this is still pretty gentle. The fishermen wouldn't even notice this, but yeah, I mean, I'm noticing it. <laughs> I'm noticing it. I really am. Let's bring all these in. I don't like them hanging out for no reason. Uh, what should we put down? We'll put down the two 250s first. Chug along at this speed. This is the first of the 250s, and you can see we're not that far out of port. Um, so this should be relatively quick and easy. Oh look, we're chugging along at 3.5 knots. Awesome. Well that's the first one done. Uh, and we'll just check on the map. Yeah, we're still kind of in the same hot spot area. So let's get our second one down. Boom. Going very well. Nice and close to each other, but not too close to each other. That's exactly what we want. Right. Let's get back to Dodge. I found also, by the way, 
Um, I have made a request that this uh, GPS thing gets improved, but uh, oh God, yeah, it's proper, proper bouncy today in comparison to the last time we went out, isn't it? Um, so hopefully the GPS will be updated so that you can actually do something with it. Oh, God, I thought we were going under for a second then. Yeah, some big waves. I'm definitely noticing these waves today. Um, now, in addition to... What is this thing floating here? What is this here? Is that one of my markers? What is that? Oh, wow. What the hell is... <laughs> Jesus! That's like a whale or something. What was that? Is that one of those whales with one of those really long, sort of, spirally nose fins? Man, that was awesome. I wish I'd gone outside for that. Note to self, always record every journey because you never know what you're going to see. It is proper bumpy out here today. I love this game. This is such a good game. Such a good game. Anyway, uh, yes, so if you hit E on the GPS and turn to... Uh, sonar and then back to GPS. It does update, but otherwise it doesn't update. So hopefully that will get fixed um, soon, possibly even full release. I can't believe I just saw a, a I was going to call it a snorkel, but it's not called a snorkel, is it? It's got a name. I just, I can't remember what it is. Norwal? Is it a Norwal? Let me know in the comments what the heck is that thing called? That was awesome. I think that's what it was. I didn't really see it very clearly. I'm going to have to watch my own video back. And we're speeding. We're speeding in the docks. I could get in trouble for this. In fact, there are no uh, speeding fines yet. But I have requested them. And they didn't say no. So you never know. We might find speeding fines in the port. Or in the docks or whatever you call it. Uh, in the future. So, um, you're welcome. <laughs> when you get fined, it's my fault. Right, okay, um, so what I meant to do was check. Let's just quickly go and do this. Uh, so they've been in the water for 52 minutes. Uh, 44 and 52 minutes. So basically it takes about half an hour to get from here to there. So we can have a rest for a good 18 hours. And then we'll sail straight out there, drop the 500 in and uh, pick up these two, bring them back. That's the plan. That is the Batman. So now we know what we're doing. We're all good. And we've still got well over, or just over, half a tank of fuel. So I think we're okay. I might start trying to dock myself at some point. I don't know if you can manually do it. It'd be cool if you can. Now we had 1% damage. Look at the speed that they're pulling me in here. If we hit the dock and the damage goes up, I'm, I'm going to say, rightly or wrongly, that they're liable for it. And kadonk, kadonk. I mean, that wasn't... You wouldn't expect that to do a lot of damage to a ship, but uh, you never know, do you? You never know. Right, so now that I've... Oh, man. I'm good. The mouse again. I can't wait until they fix this little problem. Main menu, there we go. There's my mouse back. Resume. Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to go. Now I saw it. Uh, ah, skip time. There it is. There it is. So we don't need to do anything, do we? I just want to have a look at dark. Still at 1%. So I've no idea where that 1% of damage came from. I really don't. Let's go to skip time tomorrow at 6 a.m. What time is it now? Zero set, so that would be 12 hours. Skip one week? Why would you want to skip a week? Oh, in case you want to go to a, an event that happens in a week's time, I guess. Okay, so we'll do tomorrow, 6 a.m. And it looks like it's instant, absolutely instant. So let's go map. Go map. And now, now I've got a problem. I got into this situation the other day. I'm I'm locked. Yeah, 
Yeah, we've got this problem again. Damn it. I'm locked in to the camera view. So I can't go up and click on main menu and escape doesn't work. Ah, oh, balls. Should have saved it. Should have saved it before I came in to dock. Pressing F doesn't do anything. E. This is definitely something they need to fix. Out of all the issues, this is the one that really is going to stop people's gameplay. Oh man. I don't think there's anything I can do. Damn it, I'm going to have to reload, which means I'm going to have to go reset those 250 lines and I won't see the normal this time so this bit has got to stay in okay well that's annoying hey guys so uh, yeah I've returned after a couple of hours to try and uh, get back into the game um, unfortunately it where it crashed it did completely crash and there's absolutely nothing I can do about that I, I am going to have to go and lay those two lines again and come back into shore. We won't see the Norwal this time, I wouldn't have thought. But um, I did mention previously, I, I don't know if you've seen it or not, but I did mention there was going to be a big update, up, update today. And then I retracted that saying, oh no, the update was a small one. Turns out that there are two updates due today. The small one was released earlier today, which I haven't got. And the big one is being released tonight or this evening at some point. I haven't got that either. There seems to be some issue where UK um, Steam players are not getting the update straight away. I don't know if there's a delay with Steam or whatever. But anyway, there is a big update coming. So hopefully a lot of these issues will be fixed sooner rather than later. But as it stands right now, I'm going to have to continue playing with these bugs and issues. So... I mean, the obvious and easy solution, well, it's not really a solution, the obvious and easiest thing to do is just save the game repeatedly. So I am going to, uh, we're going to go for Haddock again. So, I mean, it's exactly the same as it was earlier on today. So we're just going to literally come out here and uh, lay two of our lines and go back to port and be exactly where we were before. So I'm going to go do that and I'll see you in a minute when it's all done. Okay guys, so that was pretty bumpy out there just then, um, possibly even more bumpy than it was the first time round, but it didn't take me too long, um, trying to adhere to the 6 mile an hour limit in port, get used to that because uh, <clears throat> when they introduce the speeding fines that's going to tot up and be expensive really quickly. So far so good, we have got the traps out. I'm just rolling into port now, so I'm probably going to make the save here, so that it's done. <clears throat> and that way, if I happen to get stuck in a menu somewhere, I can always uh, just revert to this point. Would you like to dock at the port? Yes, I would. In your hugely aggressive manner. Donk, rub, donk, okay cool. So, here we are, and once again, the mouse disappears. It happens every time. I'm, I'm assuming that's going to be fixed in one of the two updates that are coming. Right, now, what we were going to do was have a kit, wasn't it? So we're going to sleep till six in the morning. And that is what is causing the bug. Ah, nougats. Well, at least I can tell them exactly what's causing that now. Oh, hang on. Yeah, it's five minutes past six. So it's not It's not that it's, you know, doing the time skip. It has literally done the time skip and now it's crashed. And, uh, yeah, there's no way out of this. So I, can't, I cannot time skip at the moment. That seems to be the... the ba basically, that seems to be the issue. 
Okay, well at least we know what it is. I can pass it on to the devs and we'll just have to uh, work our way around it. But I just saw a message come up. I wonder if perhaps they've pushed the update so uh, everyone can have it. So uh, I'm going to have to reload this anyway, so I'll be back in just a second. Okay guys, some good news. I have managed to get the update. Uh, apparently there was a beta branch that you needed a key for that I hadn't read the email and it's my fault. And, okay, now we're all good. 0 0.988, so let's try this again. Let's go into port. So I have effectively been playing... Oh, I'm speeding, I'm speeding, I'm speeding. I have effectively been playing quite an old version. So a lot of the issues I've been encountering I probably could have avoided. Let's see. Let's try. We'll go to dock. And I know that some new features have come in um, since talking to the guys on Discord. I know that you can now pick how many hours you sleep at port. Whether that's part of this patch or the big one that's coming tonight, I don't know. We'll find that out in a second, I guess. Let's have a swing here. Let's have a go. Let's have a go. Let's have a go. Skip time. Yay, look at this. You can actually pick anything up to 24 hours so I need to cancel that go to the map and just remember how long one hour five minutes so we want like 19 yeah we want like 18 17 or 18 hours to give us time to put the 500 down and pick both of those up on the two on the 20 hour mark so 17 hours from now That'll take us to 10 o'clock at night on the 17th. That looks good to me. And there we are. So now, without messing about in any way, shape or form, we can just get ourselves going. Try and rub ourselves off the edge of this port without destroying the boat. That's taken a few bumps there. Oh, there's another one. Turning us back in towards the port. Turning us back in towards the harbour wall. <laughs> Struggling to get off this now. Bit of brute strength, that'll do it. Okay, so I'm going to try and be good. I'm going to try and stick below six miles per hour. And uh, what might be a good idea is if I set some waypoints for myself let's see if I come that'll do that's close enough we'll take it donkey we'll take it oh speed in speed in speed in so I can't see I cannot see the dials the internal lights are just too bright so I think we're close enough to the edge of harbour now, we can go full tilt. Looks really calm out there, like a mill pond. So we shouldn't get any bouncy effects today. That's the first one. There's a few little waves out here, aren't there? I see a few, a few of the waves are breaking. Not as big as they were uh, yesterday or earlier when I put the when I put the uh, lines out. So this is going to go pretty well. First one. Not forgetting that I want to lay down the 500 line before pulling in the two 250s. Let's just go see how well I've timed this. Actually, 17 coming up for 18 hours. So we're going to be. Round about on time, maybe a little bit early. A little bit early, perhaps. Not too bad though. Ooh. Ooh Whoa! Whoa! A bit wibbly wobbly there. So after we've, um... oh yeah, it's getting a bit, a bit more interesting this this far out. So. My pots are over here somewhere. He says. 
not knowing where at all. There they are. Spotted. I think what I'll do is I'll drop. I'm going to drop the 250 just here. Or I'll accidentally accelerate when I'm trying to turn and get that all wrong. So we'll drop the 250 here, uh, the 500 here. Hopefully, I'll be able to line myself up and grab the 250s almost straight away. We shall see. sudden we just took off like a rocket then that's not exactly what I was trying to do Crikey, I'm all over the place oh like a glove is it no <laughs> no 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 I've got it all horribly wrong Good to me. Yes, I'd like to haul in that long line. Here we go. Not bad for my first one. It's weird. It seems like the easiest thing in the world, but actually, when you go to actually do it, it's it's quite tricky. Especially seeing as they're all always in different places and they go at different speeds. And so on and so forth. Oh, I knew that one was going to be bad. This one's going to be okay. This one's going to be perfect. Oh, I've lost the touch. I've lost the touch. Got it back. I'm ahead of myself. That's what it is. No, I'm, I'm behind myself. <laughs> How many's left? Not the best haul I've ever had. Two to go. Hmm. Finishing with a flourish. Okay. So, 120 haddock that time. That's pretty good. That's absolutely exactly what we're after. Would I like to gut the fish? I hate doing this, but yes, I would. Uh, start. That was bad. Yeah, that was that was terrible. Terrible. Absolutely flipping awful. That was better. That was actually a straight line. Yeah, nice. Five stars. That doesn't happen very often. That was pretty good as well. Yeah, that's two five stars. So gosh gosh. Flipping hell. Yeah, that was that was bad. Well, I've got more, more for that than I did on the first one, which is somewhat surprising. That wasn't very good either. That is really tough, I am not kidding you. So we've got a small selection of fish there. Uh, we can go sit down in the captain's seat and just swing round for the next one, which is, I think, over there somewhere. I thought I'd be able to see it from here, but it's not showing up. The waves seem to be picking up a bit as well, which is good. Makes it more fun. That's the right one. Excellent. So the outline is green. Everything seems to be working, which is good. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, that suddenly got dark, didn't it? Genuinely, I think it should go darker than this. Whereas this is dark, I think it should be even darker still. I've got, got my lines all wrong there. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Swing around to the 
right. Should be good fairly soon here. Close enough, am I? Alf. I was going to say Alf Garnet, which is my own made up slang for Oh Darn It. Right, so we're half full. So by upgrading the, um, the hold, we have enabled ourselves the wrong way there. We have enabled ourselves to uh, pick up two lines of 250 and one line of 500 without issue. But I am making a right pig's ear of this. I really am. Right. Finally in place. Yes, I would like to haul it in. No fish were caught. Low population. I wonder if that's because I put them too close together. Hopefully then the 500 below isn't going to suffer the same consequences because I did put that right next to everything else. <sighs> oh dear. Well, that didn't exactly turn out as I'd hoped. Truth be told, there's our line over there. Make sure we don't go over it and tear it up. Go back to port and um, damn, that's half of our takings gone, and that is quite literally fishing, I guess, isn't it? One day you could be on top of the world, next day you do everything the same, and it all goes horribly wrong. Where is that other boy? I thought I was going over my own line there for a second. We're all good now though, we're all good now. Back to port. This time I think we'll have to get some fuel. So we're doing five knots and we're half laden. So that's quite a bit better than what we had before. If you think uh, we've got a two tonne maximum haulage and we're half full, so that's a ton, which is what we were carrying last time. And we were just ticking over at 1.3 knots for a while there. So upgrading the engine definitely made a difference. Still slow, slow going, sort of basically half speed, less than half speed. But um, it's a lot faster than what we were stuck with before. So money well spent, I'd say. A shame though that we we lost that second line well we didn't lose the line we just didn't get anything off it zero for the catch Drop down to six knots as we're entering the harbour. We're 
respect the rules and the authority. Is it just me, or does the water look more realistic now? Am I imagining that? Is that just wishful thinking? I can't tell. It just looks a bit more watery, a bit more, a bit more shiny. Speeding, that's good. We have got half a haul to get in, so uh, just hope that the 500 comes back with something, because otherwise, otherwise it's been a bit of a disaster. This second haul, the first one was a complete success. This one has been the absolute opposite of the, of the spectrum. Oh, we can go full power right now, can't we? Because we're, we're heavily laden, so we can't go above six knots. That's good. Wish I'd remembered that earlier. Okay. Yes, I'd like to dock. Uh, 120 Haddock. 25,452 Corona. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I do, however, appear to be stuck. And I don't believe it. Same thing has happened. Same bloody thing has happened, look. The, um, the mouse is stuck on the camera, so I cannot save the game. I cannot escape. Bum, 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 bum. That's annoying as hell. Ah. So I'm going to have to do that again as well. So the first pull has actually um, given us extra fish. We've got 131 this time instead of just 120, so that's pretty awesome. And I'm going to try and do as good a job here as I can. That's five stars. Pretty happy with that. That's three, four. Oh, better than I expected. Oh, this one's going to be tough, though. It was all over the place. That was pretty good. Average. Oh, five stars. Better than average. Oh, and then we get a bad one. <laughs> that was a bad one as well. Yeah, two stars. Okay. So, uh, fingers crossed then, that's our other line over there, so let's, um, let's jump on and just hope that we get something this time, because last time we got absolutely nothing off this second line, it was totally empty. So I think what I might do is swing around the other side of it and come back on myself as it were. Can't see very much. Be a combination of skill and guesswork. Mostly guesswork. <laughs> All right. So we're close. We are close. I've no idea where it is physically. Oh, we're miles off it. Are we going to be close enough? No. Nah. No fish were caught, low population. Well, I did suspect that might be the case. Let's take the opportunity here to save the career. And I'll probably do it again when we get into uh, port. So, okay. Let's get the old stove on. Did I, did I put down the 500? No, I didn't even lay the 500, look. Oh, crikey. Well, that was close. I nearly completely pulls that up. <clears throat> nearly completely pulls that up.
and we're slightly off the hot spot as well. So that wasn't brilliant, but bearing in mind I have done this three times now. I'm a bit fed up with doing the same thing over and over again, so I'm not too bothered. I'm not too bothered. What are we doing here? We don't seem to be moving. 0.5 knots? Come on. I know we got half a half a belly full of fish, but um, we should be able to outrun the current, surely. Struggling like bilio here. Wow, we really are struggling. Let's go inside, get the old furnace on. Get ourselves a cup of going. And uh, just wait for this to finish, I guess. That is slow. That's why I should have done it before picking up the fish. Mental note. Finally, there we go. Let's head home. It's nice and warm and cosy in here at least. One good thing I can say about this game um, is that it's very well optimised, I think. It only runs at 30 to 40 FPS. It's a solid 40 when I'm not recording. When I am recording, it does drop down to about 30, 36, 37, 38. It's never, it hasn't stuttered once. I mean, obviously we've had a few crashes, but it never stutters so graphically, um, FPS-wise. It's very, very solid. It's utilizing like a 100% GPU, 90 to 100% all the way through. Um, I've just been talking to Simulate Gaming. You probably know who that is. Does a lot of farming sim and stuff. Um, he's running a 1080. I'm running a GTX 970, and we're both averaging around 90 to 100%. So it seems. Uh, that it's you know using the GPU properly which is good because a lot of brand new games don't tend to do that especially you went especially those that use the Unreal Engine 4 for some reason seem to rely far too heavily on the CPU my CPU usage fluctuates for this game between sort of 20% and 50% and that's it 50% it, uh, is the highest I've seen it so um, yeah pretty good overall I'd say Right, so we're just coming into port. I'm going to save just before I hit it uh, because we know. So we're just coming into port. I'm going to save there because we know it could be a bit unstable uh, in port, and um, yeah, it's caught me out quite a few times. So I'll just save. So I think we got like 25,000 last time, didn't we? 25,000 krona. Let's hope. We got a few extra haddock this time, and haddock is supposed to be fluctuated price. So, thirty thousand. Okay, so losing the game actually kind of benefited us quite a bit there. Now I'm stuck in this god awful camera view again. Let's wait until the boat has completely settled in the dock. Hopefully. Maybe then it will come out of this... No, we're just stuck in this camera view. I cannot do a thing. Oh, I like this game a lot. But it's uh, it needs to fix this particular bug. All the other little bugs are tiny. They don't affect me at all. This is starting to grate my nerves. So guys, listen, I can't really do much content in this particular video today because of the issues we're having now it's pre-release so don't get don't get your knickers in a twist about the issues that we're having here the whole point of um youtubers like me getting early access to this game is so that we can a promote it and b find the bugs suggest good um good make good suggestions for changes and possible inclusions and so on and so forth and that's what we're doing we're all working very hard on this i've been on this game all day pretty much and um, the guys on um, Discord have been on there all day as well, trying to fix problems and release patches and so on and so forth. There's a big update coming tonight, so when that lands, I'll, if it's not too late, I'll jump on again and see if we can't get this uh, finished. And um, But otherwise, I'll say my goodbyes now, just in case I can't get any more content out for this particular video. And then uh, I'll be hopefully getting back to you with another episode as soon as possible. 
hopefully the day after this video, so tomorrow. Uh, until then, take care of yourselves, guys. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you've got any questions, comments, say hi, whatever. You know how it works. Take care of yourselves. Till next time, goodbye. <laughs>